Today, I fucked up by accidentally making napalm in my friend's garage. You see, when given a lighter, combustible material, a lighter, and boredom, what do you expect me to do? Well, if you have two lighters, then I guess it's all out of your hands, you know what I mean? Spray paint burns and styrofoam does too. I'm not sure what ticked in my mind, but I decided to spray paint the huge block of styrofoam and set it alight to see what happens, being the man-child I am. For those of you who don't know, the material used to make styrofoam when combined with oil is essentially making napalm, unbeknownst to me. It got on fire very quickly, but didn't seem like anything too serious until several seconds. Until several seconds, my nigga. In less than a minute, this flaming block of styrofoam from hell is not only blazing out of control, but completely fills the garage with the black smoke, even with the garage door open. I almost choked before running out as I watched my friend's garage get consumed by the abyss. The fire went on for ridiculously long. What are you doing fucking around in your friend's garage? Like, is he fucking a hoe right now? Where is he? When the garage finally aired out enough to go back in, I was greeted by a burned mess of black shit melded to the garage floor. Hopefully he won't notice. <laughs> I really should have done this outside. Too long didn't read. Accidentally performed Vietnamese war tactics using household materials in a safe, intelligent manner. MacGruber making life-saving inventions out of household materials. Oh, fuck me. Look how long the top comment is. But it's been gilded, so this ought to be good. <coughs> In our backyard, we have this really thick nylon rope hanging between two trees with another section hanging straight down at the midpoint to make a T-shape. It's for swinging on and whatnot. Well, the other day my stepdad decides that it's ugly and he needs to take it down, but this whole thing hangs from like 40 feet in the air. The stepdad shows up? Nigga, you're late to this family and you trying to call shots with your bitch ass. So Gen Genius douses the bottom section with lighter fluid and sets it on fire. Nylon? Apparently, he has no clue what burning nylon is like. This thing burst into flames pretty quickly, and little globules of flaming molten nylon are spitting out all over the place, including into the season's worth of dry leaves below. The wind picks up, and the rope starts swinging and shooting flaming plastic in like a five-foot radius that only increases as the flames rise up the rope. My stepdad attempts to put out all the small fires that are being started below the rope, only to have the burning nylon stick to the bottom of his shoes. Hilarious which he then proceeds to try to rub out on his ankles. We spent half an hour with the hose watching this thing almost turn the woods in the back into Dante's Inferno with my mom in the background screaming bloody murder. Edit. My mom told me I wasn't supposed to bring this up again because my stepdad is a fragile little pedal, so naturally it feels really good to share this story with millions of people who read TIFU, not just them. But my subscribers, apparently, while I narrate this hilarious story, I should send this, uh, this whole TIFU narration to him in a private message. Yes, I really do hope it gets back to him, you, you nylon-burning motherfucker. Today somebody fucked up and brought the fuck up of stepdad to the, <laughs> to the world. Catch you guys later.